So for most of my life, I've always had a decent LEGO DC collection, but when I was little, I missed out on a lot of the good sets that I wanted. And with LEGO DC being kind of dead right now, not having any good sets out, aside from multiple Batman vs Joker sets, I think this would be a good time to go out and upgrade my collection from this to this. So one of the first old DC sets I want to buy is this Two-Face set. So this set obviously has Two-Face and has two henchmen. It also has a very nice vehicle for Two-Face, I really like it. It also has a basic Batman, which is in like every single set, but I actually really like the Batmobile. I think it's one of the best Batmobiles that they've ever made. And then the police in the small bank is a nice addition. And overall, I just really like this set. This is one of those sets I would look at on the shelf and never be able to buy, so it's very nice to be able to finally have it, but it is a little bit more on the pricey side nowadays. And now the next set I had to get was this Batman vs Joker set. And I know that they make a lot of Batman vs Joker sets now, but this one's just different. Not only does Joker actually have something to fight back with, but he also has a henchman, so it's not just him. And some of this might be the nostalgia talking, but I don't know, the sets just aren't as good now. For example, the three sets that have Joker in it right now have no vehicle for him to fight back with. But anyways, this set had a nice Batwing, the same old Batman. Batman, but it also had a really nice Joker and a very nice henchman. I don't understand why they quit including these. And then I actually love the Joker helicopter. Again, they just don't make stuff like this anymore for Joker. So it's just a very nice inclusion and I think a very nice set. And now this next set is one I remember asking for in the store and really, really wanting. This is one that for some reason I just wanted really bad. I also know that I saw it in this Lego Batman show and it made me really want it more. But this set came with a very nice Joker and I always wanted the purple fedora. And then it had another nice Joker henchman. It also had the same old Batman. I think our first Batman Batgirl and first Robin and it also had this weird Batman fly thing I don't actually know what this is supposed to be it's one of the lamer Batman vehicles but I don't think it's bad I still think it's kind of cool and then you have the steamroller now I always thought that the steamroller was like the coolest vehicle ever I always wanted this I still think it's pretty cool but that might just be because of nostalgia and this is just one of the really good old sets again they don't make stuff like this anymore and I don't know why another amazing set that I've always wanted is this Superman set part of this is because of the Lego Batman 2 game which is one of the reasons why I always wanted these sets, but it comes with a pretty nice Superman and Wonder Woman. At the time of me buying this, I actually already have a Wonder Woman and Superman that are just like this, so it's not as cool, but the Lex Luthor is brand new to me, which he's a very nice character that I've always wanted. And the mech is also very nice, I actually like it. After building it, it's not the greatest mech ever, but also this set came out in 2012, so it's like 12 years old. But this is just a very nice set to have and one I also always wanted. And now this Batman set is very nostalgic to me, and after finally getting it, I still really like it. It's nice to finally get an Aquaman. The Arctic Batman is a very nice switch up from the same old Batman that we've been getting. And then I actually love the Mr. Freeze. It's actually my favorite Mr. Freeze out of all of them. And then for the actual set, I really like the ice capture thing. I think it's a very nice inclusion. I think it's pretty creative. And then for the actual Batman vehicle, I think it's very cool and unique. I think it's one of the cooler vehicles that we would have never gotten otherwise. And we'll probably never get again. And this is again, I think just a really cool set. Now for the next set I bought, I bought this for a few reasons. First off, I have one Catwoman, but it's the one from the movie and she's purple and I think it's kind of stupid. I'd much prefer a black suited Catwoman. And I've also wanted a gray and blue Batman for a while. So I picked up this small set with Catwoman and I think it has a very nice bike and a very nice Catwoman figure. I also am happy to finally get the blue Batman. He also has the blue plastic wings that are supposed to be his cape and then it has this nice little side build with the stoplight and overall I think it's a nice little small set. Now this next set is one I came to remember asking for in the store and not being able to get but this set with Man Bat I think is very nice. First off there's the same lame Batman and then there's a pretty cool red Nightwing. I actually like it a lot. I also love the wings that come with him. There's also this really good Man Bat figure. I remember wanting him because of this Lego Batman. Batman show. The same one that had the Joker steamroller. And then it also has this really good Batman helicopter. It has this pretty cool feature in the back where you can lower this rope and you can pick up stuff with it which I think is pretty cool. And overall I think this is just a really good nice small Batman set. Now this next set is actually a Lego Batman movie set. I didn't get very many sets from this movie because I think the movie was good. There was just a lot of sets that didn't really interest me. And a lot of the ones that I'm buying are ones that I grew up on that I really wanted that I missed out on. But I got this Scarecrow set. And I did actually want this Scarecrow more. But just the figure alone was like $40 or $50. And then the Arkham Asylum set which I did want is pretty expensive so I was like I'm just gonna skip the set and the figure and just buy a different set and get a scarecrow because sure I wanted that figure but I really just wanted the character more than anything so it comes with the same old Batman but it has those really nice bat wings in black and then it has I think a pretty good scarecrow figure it's not as good as the original but it's not bad and then I actually like the little helicopter I know it's small and it's kind of stupid but I think it's better than nothing I don't mind it and then it has this like generator thing I don't really care for it it's kind of stupid it's whatever but overall I think it's a pretty good set now we're starting to move away from the early 2010 sets and we're starting to move into the later sets. This Justice League set is really good but also really bad. I'm very happy to finally get a Captain Cold figure. I'm happy to get a new Flash because my original Flash is in terrible condition. And then for me there's also a new Batman because of the cowl. And there's also a new Wonder Woman and the truck driver. And then obviously one of the main reasons why I bought this set which is for the Gorilla Grodd. I love this character and I've wanted him for a while. And then the tiny little truck is alright. I mean it's not that good. I mean it's a tiny little truck it's alright. And I also really like the invisible jet. I wish it would have used a little bit less gray but I still don't think it's bad. 
bad. And now here's why this set's kind of stupid. This Batman mech is so dumb. Why does Batman need a mech? I don't know. I would have cared for like a terrible Batmobile or something, not a stupid Batman mech. And if you're wondering why I'm only showing it from the box and pictures online, it's because I destroyed the Batman mech. I think it's kind of stupid. I just put it in my parts. I don't really need it. But I think overall this set is a good set. I think it's half good, half bad. I think it has more good than bad. And overall, I'm pretty happy that I bought it. But now the most expensive set that I bought and the one that I'm most excited for is this Justice League set. This is another set that I remember going to the store for and asking for it and not being able to get it. And I just can't believe that now I own it. I think I paid like 140 for this and the box is still in pretty bad condition, but it's not terrible. But just the fact that I own this set is absolutely insane to me. So it has Superman, which is whatever. I already have this Superman. And then there's a pretty cool Cyborg. And then I love the Hawkman and Green Arrow. And then of course the main reason why most people want this set is for the dark side. I think this big fig is really cool and I cannot believe that they've never made another one. And not only does it have an amazing character selection, but the actual ship is really cool. It has a nice like bomb dropping feature. It has really cool angles to come to that point in the front. I love that the side of the wings can move to go into a landing or flying position. But I will say Darkseid's little platform fly thing is kind of stupid. But aside from that, I cannot believe that I have this set. It is such a cool set and I cannot believe that I finally own it. And now aside from just buying sets, I did also go buy a few figures because it was a little bit cheaper than buying the sets that they were in. But one of the first figures that I bought was this penguin from the Arkham Asylum set. I thought it was a pretty nice penguin and it wasn't very expensive so I just bought him. And then I've always wanted this Robin figure because of the Lego Batman 2 game. And I was gonna buy this bat cave that he was in, but the bat cave was too expensive, so I just bought the figure by itself. I also bought the poison ivy from that exact same set, because it was just way cheaper to do that. And I already had a Ben and Harley Quinn from Lego Dimensions. But now after that, I also really wanted this Riddler. And after buying all those figures, he would be the only exclusive figure in this set. So instead of just buying the set, I just bought the figure instead. And then although I actually really like the red Nightwing, I prefer the blue one. So I went out and bought the blue Nightwing poly bag. And I think this is a pretty nice figure. I also really wanted a villain for Aquaman. And I was so close to buying this set because I really really want a Black Manta ship, but I ended up just buying the Black Manta figure by himself. And before this, I already had some really cool sets. Like for example, I already had this Brainiac set, this Green Lantern set, and Riddler set. But after this, I now have some sets that I've always wanted. A lot of these sets I looked at in the store and was never able to buy. I also saw certain vehicles and characters in the games and movies that I watched, so I'm very happy to finally own some of these. It's just crazy to me that after spending months of saving up and buying these sets, I now own them and they're sitting right in front of me. I just don't know what DC's doing, because they used to do so much better than what they're doing now. It used to be Batman sets and Justice League sets. Now it's just Batman and it's very few Batman sets. It's all Batman versus the same villain over and over. And then the ones that aren't just the same villain over and over, it's a huge set that no one can afford. And not a very good one at that. But even though DC kind of sucks right now, they used to be amazing. And it's very cool to go back and take a look at what used to be a really, really good theme.